lot of us go, a lot of us go on our gut feeling and our guts tell us that something, a lot of something is not right and there's something coming down the road that isn't going to be friendly to all of us. I guess there's a lot of things I'd like to say, but I guess what I want to say right now <clears throat> is, and I know I've said this quite a few times, and you all know this, pay attention to your surroundings no matter where you are. Always make sure that if you are out in the community or even in your driveway, back your vehicle in so you can just get into it and drive forward to get away. I see so many people driving in that can't back up for crap. So if they're in a panic and they need to leave in a hurry, what are they going to back into? A tree? Another vehicle? A lumber pile? A deck? I don't know. So it's just, why, why take that few extra seconds and and worry about backing up when you can just get in there and drive and drive ahead, pull forward and, and take off, right? That's just how I think of it. When I go to any of the stores, I make sure that I am, I am able to drive out, whether I back into the parking spot or I park uh, out in a way. So no one's going to block me in or anything, right? No chance of anybody pulling in front of me. So that's what I do. I, I, I'm always paying attention to my surroundings. I want to know what's going on here and what's around here. That's just, that's just good common sense. That's just being aware of your surroundings, right? Now, there are some people that are absolutely clueless as to what's going on around them, folks. Somebody had mentioned that they see people with those little earbuds in walking down the street in a restaurant. They're, they're back to the door. Not a clue what is going on around them. They can't hear, right? Probably not very well of what's going on. Now, I'm not saying go into a, like a restaurant and, and listen in on people's conversations. No, I am saying go in there and make sure that your back is not toward the door. I like to find a corner somewhere where I know my escape route is so I can leave if I have to, like in an instant. So my, I'm always facing the public and I'm always facing the doors and I'm always uh, by a an exit, right? So folks, it's getting really scary. You cannot believe anything that you hear on the TV or the radio. Everyone has an agenda. Everyone has an agenda. Even some of these YouTubers have an agenda. They want to keep you up in a hype. They want to make you scared, tell you all the things that are going wrong, all the things that are happening. And they're kind of a little giddy about it. You can see their, you can see their numbers climbing and the, the more their numbers climb, the more dramatic and, and doom and gloom they put out there, folks. But they, they're doing it in a giddy fashion. So they know that they're going to, be, going to be raking in a few extra pennies and a few extra pennies here and there, right? So they've gone from a YouTube dream to seeing that pot of gold. And that you can see their their mannerisms change. You can see their you can see their <clears throat> topics change. You can see them digging digging deeper, trying to find all this horrible stuff that is going on, right? And their titles are getting really catchy to the point where they're almost clickbaiting. They see the money, folks. They see the money. Some of them see attention. Some of them see YouTube fame, right? I don't get that at all. Folks, I don't want any of that. I do not want any of that. I like to keep a low profile. And 
already and just i've only got what what just over a thousand subscribers this time around and still when i go into a store every once in a while people will recognize me and they'll come up and they will speak which is all fine and good it is all fine and good they respect me they they're just they're just good people now i did a shout out to snow walker prime a lot of you went over and subscribed and watched his videos and commented and and liked and all of that stuff thank you very much he thanks you very much he he thanked me again for doing a shout out and he said that i've got some really good people for followers yes i do i was very proud to hear that I was very proud to read that and I 1000% totally agree that I've got a real good bunch of you folks that follow me just good people just good people and I thank you for that we need more good people in this world we really do there's a lot of ugly out there there's a lot of nasty there's a lot of manipulating there's a lot of lying just Look at our government, as somebody called it, and our media, right? Right full of lies, right full of deceit, right full of manipulation, corrupt, right? Corrupt, and doing what is best for their pockets, right? Meanwhile, some of you are trying to raise kids, and the, the government are the people that you're supposed to, in theory, look up to for information, for safety, right? The government's going to protect you. Well, that's that's one of the biggest lies right there. So you're trying to teach your kids how to how to be decent human beings with dignity and respect for themselves and others, just doing the the right thing as people. And there are no role models, folks. There are no role models. It used to be, kids, let's sit down and watch the news so you can know what's going on in the world. I'm talking Walter Cronkite, folks. I'm old enough to know who Walter Cronkite is, or was. They used to be part of your, your curriculum at home is to watch the news, become educated parents these days don't allow their kids to watch the news because like I said it's right full of lies deceit corruption so where do you get your news folks do you get it from mainstream media do you get it from alternative means like YouTube which also have an agenda to fill their pockets right where do you get trusted information I have only a handful of only a handful of channels that I watch that have not failed me folks they're doing it for the right reasons they're not saying hey look at me they've They've kept the same mannerism as when they're first, from their first channel up to their 500,000 member subscriber list. They've kept the same focus. They've kept the same tone. They've kept everything true about who they are. And they're not going to put anything out that they are even questioning is true, right? There's a handful of them out there, folks. I'm not a news outlet here. I don't do the news. I don't have time. I just don't do the news, folks. I don't know, folks. What do you believe? You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to educate yourself somehow. There's, there's all kinds of educated guesses in what's happening or what will happen. A lot of us go... A lot of us go on our gut feeling and our guts 
tell us that something, a lot of something is not right. And there's something coming down the road that isn't going to be friendly to all of us. That isn't going to be friendly to all of us, right? I had a conversation quite a while back. You say, you say everyone should prepare for whatever may come. Well, nothing's happened yet. How can you say nothing's happened yet, folks? Have you seen the economy? Have you seen the bullshit that's going on? Have you seen the lies, the corruption, the deceit, us poking the bears all around the world and thinking we're innocent? Have you seen what's happening down on our border? Who is coming through? Have you seen prices go up and up and up and up and more people talking about how much more they are struggling than they were a few years ago? Have you seen that? How can you say nothing has happened yet? How can you say that? Just because it doesn't happen overnight, it doesn't mean it's a long, slow boil, and then one day you actually wake up, you open your eyes, and there you are. Can't afford food, can't afford your bills, business is closed, you haven't learned your skills, so where are you? That makes you pretty desperate, doesn't it? 